Welcome to my F5 LTM training series. My name is Trevor. This video is going to walk you through how to install an F5 Big IP LTM Virtual Edition Load Balancer for free on your computer. We're going to do this by utilizing VMware, a network router, and a 90-day trial license version for the LTM. So first I wanted to give you three important links. You can either pause this video right now and save these, or you can just copy and paste them from the description below in the YouTube section. So this first link is going to be where you're going to go so you can download the LTM Virtual Edition 90-day free trial. The second link is going to be where you go so that you can download the VMware player. This last link I just wanted to throw in there for your own convenience if you're interested. This is a link where you can purchase the fully licensed product for only $97. And what this is going to do is it's going to unlock not only the LTM module but also GTM, ASM, AFM, DNS. You can do everything. Keep in mind this is only for a test environment for labbing purposes. You won't be able to put this product in your production environment there's going to be bandwidth and max SSL connection throttling that's going to be performed on it, so it won't function correctly in anything other than a lab setting. It's a steal. It's only $97. I'm going to get two of them so that I can do some HA testing in my lab environment. It definitely beats having to pay $17,000 for an F5. Here is the web page on the first link. This is the F5 trial page. This is going to be where it gives you some information about the Big IP LTM Virtual Edition 90-day trial package that you can download. You can also generate uh, your registration key by clicking on the link here at the bottom. If you don't have an F5 account or you're not logged in yet, you'll get redirected to this page. Click on register for an account if you don't have one or just sign in if you do. This is the next screen that shows your personal information. Verify that the email address is correct, otherwise you won't receive your registration key. Fill out the CAPTCHA below and click on email registration key after you select how many keys you'd like to have. On this screen you just need to click on download the trial right here. Next, read through your software license agreement and click I accept. On this screen, this is where we're going to select the certain type of file that we'd like to use. In this tutorial, we're going to be using the file set for the VMware ESX. Next, on this screen, this is where you're going to select the geographic location that's closest to you. You're going to be downloading a 700 meg file off of a server in the location you choose. So it's important that you choose the one that's closest to you, that way it downloads faster. While that's downloading, you still need to go and download and install the VMware client. Go to the link that I provided in the beginning of this video or in the description. Once you get there, go ahead and click on the download link and then click save file. So when you're installing the VMware player, you're just going to go ahead and next, next, next through all the installation screens. I chose not to receive any product updates and not to improve the player or to create any shortcuts. Uh, so that's just personal preferences for you. But the screens look like this. So once you have your big IP LTM file and VMware installed, you're going to start up VMware. Once it starts up, it'll look like this. When the VMware player comes up, you need to click on Open a Virtual Machine. You're going to then locate your Big IP LTM file that you just downloaded. Uh, you can change your storage path if you want and go ahead and click Import. It'll take a few minutes for it to import. So after it's imported underneath your home section on your VMware panel, go ahead and click on your Big IP file and click Play Virtual Machine. cycle through your virtual machine and your uh, native computer, you're going to need to press Control and Alt at the same time. After the device is loaded, you're going to have immediate access to the CLI of the Big IP LTM Virtual Edition. Since this is a brand new device, it's using the F5 default of root as the username, and it's using default as the password. Remember this device is not licensed yet, as you can see from the prompt. Also remember that the management IP of the device is 192.168.1.245, as that's the default for Big IP LTM. In order to access the GUI of the LTM, you need to link your native computer to this VM that's running the Big IP LTM Virtual Edition. The way I'm going to show you how to do that in this video is through the use of a network router. We are going to IP our LTM so that it's on the same network as our native computer, and both are going to utilize the same mutual uplink router. In this case, I have a little Belkin router at my house used just in this test environment. So realistically, we have two options here. You can either re-IP your entire network so that it utilizes the F5 default of 192.168.1.0/24, or you can just re-IP the big IP LTM. I, I kind of think that's a little bit easier. So currently, you can see that my internal network uh, off this Belkin router is going to be 192.168.2.0/24. Uh, remember, I told you the default for F5 is 1.0/24. So what I was saying is we could either re-IP this network or I could just re-IP the F5. So at this point, if I try to ping the F5, 
I cannot ping it because we're on different networks, of course. So in order to re-IP the management IP and the default route, you need to go into the configuration utility by typing config on the CLI of the LTM. Go ahead and press enter so you can enter the configuration utility. The next screen is asking if you want to use the automatic configuration. Select no by pressing enter. On the screen, this is where you can type your correct IP address. So I'm just going to change this to my Belkin subnet. You press the tab key to alternate between OK and cancel. I want to use a slash 24 mask, so I'm going to click OK. This screen is asking if I want to create a new default network route and I do, so I'm going to press OK, and I'm just going to arrow over and change it so that it says 2.1 instead of 1.1. Remember tab key, not the mouse point, will get you to move over from cancel to OK. Press enter, this is saying do you want to accept these changes, press enter as well. You've now updated your LTM, so if you want to check your updates you can type TMSH so that you enter TMOS. At this point you can type list sys management IP and list sys management dash route to see your updates. See that we're no longer using 192.168.1.245, we're now using 2.245. At this point I'm going to go ahead and ping the new IP address. And you can see that I have network connectivity from my native computer. So now my native computer can talk to my LTM VM through the use of my network router. Alright, so now that my native computer and my VM can talk to each other through my uplink router, I'm going to go ahead and try to go to the GUI. I'm going to type in https colon slash slash 192.168.2.245 and you can see that it loads. So at this point you can log into the GUI using the F5 default of admin and the password is admin. And you'll see that uh, we don't have a license, of course. We haven't licensed it yet. That'll be what I explain in the next video. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. Make sure you click on the link in the description so that you can see the entire playlist for the F5 training series. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.